Hi, my name is Jan. Welcome to Butterfly Tracks. Today I'm doing a review. I don't really like doing reviews. Um, if you have tiny little feet that you can just put your little foot into any glass slipper and you get a prince, <laughs> well, you probably don't need to. Just go back and watch one of my other videos. This is for people who have a hard to fit foot like me. This is not a paid sponsorship. Um, Fitville sent me three pairs of shoes to review um, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of these three pairs of shoes. Um, they're one of the shoes that was probably my favorite also had a negative. On good days I can wear them, on uh, bad days I couldn't wear them. So what do I mean by that? I have to describe my feet for you, but I will save you the picture. I'm not gonna show you my feet. Um, they are not a pretty sight. Have you ever seen a baby's foot? You know, like a three to six month old pudgy little baby. Well, that's what my feet look like. I don't have any health issues. I do not have diabetes. I, I'm extremely healthy. I don't take medications. I'm not under doctor's care. Uh, for a 72 year old woman, I'm really, really healthy. Uh, really really need to lose weight and part of that's gonna be walking I've had a problem with walking because of shoes when I was working before I left on the road this cocoa shaking before I retired I was wearing very nice suits I mean the kind you have to dry clean you know lined and all I was wearing those very nice suits to work looking all professional and wearing Crocs shoes because <laughs> that's the only thing my foot would fit in that's the only thing that was the least bit comfortable I even started my walking regimen uh, where I I pretty much cured my hips and my back by walking I did that mostly in Crocs I could go into several different stores in a mall, all the stores in a mall, and try on lots and lots of shoes and leave without any shoes because of my pudgy little feet. I don't have a health issue. If I eat a lot of salt or hardly any salt, my feet do swell. When Fitville offered to send me these shoes for just for a review, I said, okay, I'll try. Um, and I'll tell you the negatives on particular my favorite shoe the negative I'll tell you the negative on that one. I'm still gonna wear them when my feet are not exceptionally swollen I'm still gonna wear those because I didn't know shoes could feel like that I really didn't know that that it could just feel like a a nice Gentle handshake, you know, it didn't have to hurt um, But I got used to it. I, I learned to pretty much ignore my feet I think these are going to make a difference for me to uh, go back on a, a walking, uh, maybe maybe even hiking. Maybe I'll get to where I can actually, maybe I'll get to where I can actually hike. I'd like to thank Susan for helping me with this review. She's quite the hiker, so I'm going to let Susan take over first, and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about after I actually was wearing these shoes. I'm Susan. And I'm going to take a look at these two pairs of hiking shoes today and give my opinion on them. I am a hiker, a long distance hiker. I've hiked since I'm four years old and I hike all over the United States. So the first pair of shoes I'm going to look at, I don't know what the brand name is. It's Fitville. 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 And in Florida, you really don't need, per se, a hiking shoe. Um, a good sturdy sneaker is all you need. This one is that has a nice, a nice uh, arch. It's soft. It looks, at, it feels very comfortable, and it would be really appropriate for Florida. Mm -hmm. um, again, the, the person who's wearing it, they're the ones who have to figure out if that's comfortable for their foot. Everybody right. is different. So it, 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 it's nice that it, you know, you don't have to tie it, but it may not work because you can't tighten it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can tighten these up. Oh, you can? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't look at it that well yeah. yet. Yeah, you can tighten it up. Okay. And these are, come in wide and extra wide for women, and that's hard to find, I know, because I look for it all the time. Right. But this looks like a very nice shoe. Okay, the next pair are... They're also Fitville. Fitville, okay. 
Now these are very sturdy. It's got a harder insole. It's got a nice arch to it. Also very appropriate. The sole, good sole, appropriate for a hiking shoe in Florida. Um, I don't know how well they would grip um, if you were doing mountain walk or rock climbing or anything like that. But again, you'd have to try it out and see. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice shoe. I like when they when you can tie it or loosen it. Because like I said, sometimes you have to loosen this. So your feet will swell when you're walking in the front. And you'll find that you're rubbing in the back. So you can adjust your laces where it can be loose in the front and tighter right. in the back. Um, but they both look like a nice sturdy pair of shoes. Good. Actually, these are not really labeled as hiking shoes, but I wanted to get your opinion of them. Right. Because of Florida, you right. know, you don't really need it. Right. These are... Um, these are just good walking shoes, mm -hmm. which is appropriate for hiking in Florida. Right. Good. And I okay. like that they come in wider sizes. It's Sometimes it's hard to find a women's shoe in a wide. Exactly. And then they have the extra wide, too, which is what I really needed. What I do like about these also is they're nicely cushioned the back yeah. nicely cushioned and what you have to do is um, try them both out and see which ones mm -hmm. you would like better but they're both and sometimes you have to break them in you don't really know the first try you've got to break them in good point yeah but they're very nice oh, good okay yeah these are the ones I wear the most these are my Fitville diabetic shoes mm -hmm. because it has the strap across the top and it's very smooth on the inside so i've been wearing those a lot there was no problem getting my foot into this shoe it opened up wide enough that my big tall fat foot could get in there really easy that's nice on on my worst days that's good i like the way this one really hugs my foot i can feel the support this is how shoes should have felt all my life this is a new experience for me. It's because it's made for um, not just a wider foot, but it's got extra wide options too. I really like that. I found it to be lightweight and cushiony, and it's gonna help me a lot in trying to walk more to lose some weight. It's a running shoe. I'm not going to be doing any running, but I sure do hope to do a lot more walking, and these shoes are going to help. I would say the negative of these shoes is that there are days when my feet are more swollen that these shoes will not work for me. As comfortable as they are on good days, the opening there of the shoe where the tongue is that's too tight on the worst days and I cannot wear these shoes that I like so much on my most swollen days. Uh, sorry TMI, that's not a very pretty thought, but it's the truth. These are the shoes that I need to put on when my feet hurt. Completely smooth inside. Oh my goodness, these feel so good.